Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to subtract a proper fraction from a mixed number. So, may mixed number ka minus a proper fraction. So, may from. So, let's start with the first example muna. Meron tayong 2 and 3 fifths minus 1 and 1 fifth. Ngayon, paano natin siya gagawin? So, let's just focus on the fraction. Since mas mataas naman ang 3 fifths sa so 1 fifth, wala tayong magiging problema. At similar fraction pa sila because pareha sila ng denominator. So, 3 minus 1, that will be 2. And copy the denominator. Yung 2 natin dito. Copy-paste lang natin as is. And there you have it. That is 2 and 2 fifths. Easy, right? Now, paano naman kung ganitong example yung makikita nyo? 3 and 1 fourth minus mo na 1, ah sorry, 1 third, tama. Ba't bang kulay? Bang kulay, bahin ko lang yung kulay. Minus 1 third. Now, we have to be careful with this one. Yeah, the similar fraction na sila, tapos, mas mataas ang 1 third. Now, paano nyo malalaman kung mas mataas yung 1 fourth sa 1 third? Nyo siya. So, this one, 1 times 3 is 3. At ito naman ay 1 times 4, that will be 4. So, mas mataas ang 1 third. So, dissimilar sila at mas mataas pa yung subterhen. Okay? So, we have to do regrouping or borrowing. So, borrow tayo. Yung 3 minus 1, that will be 2. At kagayain natin yung denominator dito na 4. That will be 4 4. Tapos, add natin ng 1 4, diba? That will be 2 and 5 4. Ngayon, dun mo na ilalagay yung 1 3rd. Kasi kaya na ni 5 4, mabawasan ng 1 3rd. Kung check natin, oo, oh, diba? 5 4, 1 3rd. This is 15. At ito naman, 4. So, that will be... Uh, focus lang tayo sa fractions. 5 times 3, that will be 15. Minus mo ng 4. At 4 times 3, that will be 12. At ang sagot ay 11 over 12. Tapos na ba? Siyempre hindi pa. Kasi meron pa tayo dito ang whole number na natira. That will be 2 and 11, 12. Easy lang, di ba? So yung, sagot, yung tanong sa 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 third ay 2 and 11 over 12. Paano naman kung meron tayong example na ganito? 5 and 2, 7 minus mo ng 1 half. So, focus mo na tayo sa fractions. Mapapansin mo, mas mataas ang 1 half. Let's check. One, sorry, 2, 7 muna. 2, 7 at 1 half. So, top, cross multiply 4 to, ito naman ay 7. Tapos ang 1 half, di ba? So, we have to do borrowing. So, borrow tayo kay 5. Hingi tayo ng 1, oh. So, that will be 4 and 7, 7. Kukopi mo yung, yung sa denominator, bibis ka dito. O plus mo ng 2, 7. That will be 4 and 9, 7. Tapos, pwede mo ng i, kaya na ni 9, 7 yan, 1 half. So, focus on the fractions lang muna. Proper fraction. So, cross multiply. 9 times 2 is, is 18. Tapos, 7 times 1, that will be 7. Divide mo ng 7 times 2, that will be 14. 18 minus 7, that will be 11. Over mo ng 14. At, lagay mo si 4 dito. And that's the final answer. Yung 5 and 2, 7 minus mo ng kalahati or 1 half you'll get 4 and 11, 14. Yung madali lang. And, and dyan nagtatapos ang ating lesson ko about how to subtract a proper fraction from a mixed number. Kung may tanong kayo, comment, suggestion, anything, just comment down. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Uh, please like and subscribe na rin. Malapit na ako mag 10K. I would really appreciate kung na-like and subscribe kayo. Click nyo na rin yung bell notification para updated kayo sa bago kong videos about math and language. 
Salamat po. I'll see you again. Bye.